Welcome. We have here our BOS of our law for a point charge, and we want to understand how to use the sketch organized solve system to solve problems with it. So our first step is our sketch step, and as we start a sketch step, we want to draw all the charges and include their velocity vectors. Once we have this, we want to then draw the point of interest that we are being talking about. And we usually label that with a capital P. Once we have our point of interest in all of our charges, we want to draw our vector from each charge to the point of interest P. This looks hopefully very, very similar to electric fields and electric forces just now with velocity vectors. And in fact, we're going to continue this because we want to determine a coordinate system aligned with our velocity vectors and our radius vectors. What's going to happen often is that the RTZ, or the cylindrical polar system, is going to be very, very useful for magnetic fields. So make sure and keep in mind that this might be something very useful for you. So we have our magnetic field, mu naught over 4 pi QV cross R hat over R squared. So for each charge, what we are going to do is we are going to write find R vector, which we can have R vector be Rxi hat plus Ryj hat plus Rzk hat. But very often, since we're going to be in RTZ, it might be more useful to have the radius in the two dimensional radius direction, capital R hat. We don't actually have to worry about moving in any sort of theta direction, but we can worry about the azimuthal direction, Rz z hat. And then we have find r squared is going to be, right, rx squared plus ry squared plus rz squared, or r in the radial direction squared plus r in the z direction squared. And then our r hat is the r vector over the magnitude of r, which can be either of these. So if we have just two dimensional, it would look something like this. And we could also have right r r r hat plus r z z hat. Just did this in two dimensions to make it a little bit easier and have everything make sure it fit on the page. If you have three dimensions, obviously have all three. So that's our r hat and our r squared. And then we want to define q. And we also want to define v. And v could be right in the x, y, and z direction, v, x, i hat plus v, y, j hat plus v, z, k hat. But very often, our v might be better to be represented in terms of polar coordinates. So we'd have v in the r, r hat plus v in the tangential, theta hat or tangential hat plus v in the z direction, z hat. So, what we then want is, right, have this for each charge, have this for each term. So then when we have this, we have r squared, we have r hat, we have q, and we have one definition or another of v. And so in our solve step, we want to write the magnetic field for each of these particles now that we've organized. And now that we have all the information we want to evaluate, this cross product of QV vector cross R hat. And once we have that, then we have each of these, right, for each. And our magnetic field sums up with superposition just the same as our electric field. 
So we have the net magnetic field is equal to the magnetic field of one plus the magnetic field of two plus the magnetic field of three and however many charges that we have. So we want to add all components together because we want it in component form. And in simplifications, we can do we want to do that. So this is how we use sketch organized solve to solve for discrete charges moving and creating magnetic.